<laughs> Woo! Now we get in the gravy. Always carry a duck hunter with you when you go squirrel hunting. So when they bail out, kill them. Welcome back. We're back uh, for the second opener. We've had our week split. Lots of good weather pushed a bunch of ducks in. Our feeds were full and everything. And it was sunshine was coming and wind, so there's nowhere else I want to go on this farm but Pet Cemetery. So if you guys have followed along with us about uh, Pet Cemetery, you know, it really just doesn't heat up uh, until about nine o'clock, eight, nine o'clock when these ducks start loafing and that way we got full sun on the decoys, you know. But and I tell my clients, all of them, anything before eight o'clock in this hole is a bonus. I love the cemetery. Come on, duck! Killed a few, didn't see too many, but we're gonna go to a, a cornfield that hadn't been hunted all year this afternoon and another group over at the refuge where we popped them last Saturday or Sunday and uh, go up here, regroup and get things together for this afternoon. We have this new field that butts up to our main, pretty much our refuge with the heat. Never hunted it, it's a big cotton field. We got some corn in there and it's like 50 acres of water. So, I mean, it had a bunch of ducks in it too and they were just hopping from Willa Heat to there and we just wanted to try it and see if it would mess Willa Heat up when we got in there. And, oh, me, we had a ball. They did exactly how we wanted them to, shot them real close, even wood ducks. Wood ducks in the cornfield decoying, I mean, it was ridiculous. We had a blast. It's always good during a long season to change it up a little bit. And uh, when the clients left that morning, we didn't have anybody coming in until six o'clock. So my dad threw it on the table. He's like, hey, I'll call a buddy of mine. We'll get the squirrel hogs and go squirrel hunting. We were all like, yeah, oh yeah, let's do it.
Dad's got a new squirrel dog, so we loaded him up. Came over here to a farm and we had a squirrel in a while. It's getting pretty it's getting pretty good with kill two and it's been a hundred yards. Always carry a duck hunter with you when you go squirrel hunting. So when they bail out, kill them. Lighting the woods on fire, boys. Kick the tires and light the fire. We're getting in the gravy, Bobcat. We got our lucky, lucky person right here, baby. He's a man of the woods. Yep. The cat. So all in all, we had a damn good time this weekend. Our clients came all the way from Texas and all they were talking about is how they're trying to get back up here and figuring out for next season. And man, that just, it humbles you a lot. We're gonna hang in there. We got a long 58 days and this year compared to last year, we're already ahead of pace. So we're gonna keep on keeping on and catch them with their pants down. And we'll see you next time here from Brownville, Tennessee. Cheers, boys.